Hey, what's going on guys? It's another awesome day here at Poor Boys RC. And thanks for joining me today where we're gonna unbox the Tamiya Blitzer Beetle. Excellent! And this was actually gifted to me by one of you viewers out there, Eric. Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it. You're the best. So here it is, a Tamiya Blitzer Beetle. This is a 2011 re-release edition, guys. This is not an OG. As far as I know, not much. A whole lot has changed anyway. <laughs> Um, I did have some really good ideas of what I was going to do with a paint scheme on this thing. I'm a bit of a sucker for box art, if you couldn't tell. But then once I saw this thing in person, I thought, it's got to go box art again. It's just, it just has to look like this. I just need to see this buggy ripping up and down my beach. Anyway, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Let's get this thing unboxed and see what's in here. So this is a 2011 Tamiya Blitzer Beetle re-released edition. This is a two-wheel drive, 10-scale electric RC buggy. It does come equipped with an ESC, but does require a separate radio receiver. Right away, guys, check it out right off the hop. I see we've got the Tamiya ESC in here. Let's see which one it is. I believe, yeah, it's a TBLE02S. ESC, which is a good speed controller, guys. Uh, good for LiPo batteries, nickel metal hydride, NICAD. You can run brushed or brushless motors with it as well. Jumping right away, we've got the Baday. And as you can see here, guys, it is, it is already black. I'm gonna go box art. This is just black molded plastic, as you can see, rigid, not Lexan. I'm just gonna go outside and hit this with some black spray paint and really get a nice nice deep black going on on there next here we've got the, the front window and the side windows for the body Let's get to that in a bit we've got a driver figure gonna need some paint we've got rigid plastic a lot of ABS plastic on here classic Tamiya servo saver additional servo horns shock towers, possible bulkheads. Looks like we have a body mount here, a couple more body mounts there. Front and rear bumpers. Upper and lower A-arms by the looks of things here. Rear gearbox, which is the only gearbox. Differential, looks like this case is gonna be a three spider gear style diff. We've got our plastic rear uprights, front uprights as well. The chassis itself, just a little guy, plastic bathtub style. Ooh, and check these out guys. Wow, those wheels look awesome. That's actually a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. Those really, really pop, they look wicked. Same with the uh, nose cone for the body and then some chrome highlight parts wheels and tires we got some spikies for the back and some rib spikies for the front no i am not going to open and sniff these yet that'll be for the build video oh those decals look awesome those colors are contagious <laughs> and then the best of the best of the instruction book business the tamia instruction manual or the Blitzer Beetle. Look at those instructions. What a thing of beauty. And from there, we've got the big bag O screws and a motor, it looks like. So just your standard Mabuchi 540 comes with a kit. What's nice is that it does come with the oil fill dampers, uh, which are a must have upgrade versus friction. So nice that you don't need to upgrade. They're already in the kit. This is an entry level kit guys. So it's just got plastic bushings here. Um, and there are the gears for the differential, the steel sun gears and the little spider gears, outdrive cups and rear dog bones. There's our shocks, black plastic. We've got some shock accessories here, some mounting 
uh, some mounting points, but we've also got the pistons there for the shocks, guys. Don't know if you can tell there, but we've got one, two, and three hole. So we've got some adjustability with our shock rebound. There's a set of smaller shocks, likely for the front, and some spindles, and assembly hardware. Well, guys, that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, getting this thing unboxed. I'm really excited to get this thing put together and uh, get it out there on the beach. It's going to look so good kicking up the sand. I can't wait. Eric, thank you once again for sending the kit to the, to the channel, buddy. I really appreciate it, man. That's really, really nice of you. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed the video today, guys, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Those little things really mean a lot to a small channel like this. That's it for me for today, guys. Thanks so much. Be excellent to each other. Mm -hmm.